Hey everybody, welcome back to Forsake, and we just got these in at Spirit, so I want to take a second to uh, show you guys a closer look of it, because uh, I know some people have been very uh, impatiently waiting to get one of these in their hands. I saw uh, some on eBay that's going for over $100. They are more expensive, it seems. Like, uh, I remember when the uh, Halloween 2018 mask came out, it was around 60 bucks. I think it's going for 70 now, when Halloween... Uh, Kills came out. Its mask was about seventy bucks. This guy right here is eighty dollars, seventy nine ninety nine, and that's not a spirit price. That is the Trick or Treat Studios price. Uh, but I have here in my hands the Halloween Ends Trick or Treat Studios mask, and I did try to uh, find and pick the best one uh, from my education. Uh, I know that this is going to be about the best they get. You're, these are from the first, you know, running of the molds and stuff like that. And as time goes, the molds wear down. And so you get a lot less detail in uh, different pieces. So uh, if you're looking for one, make sure you go out and you get one now. Don't don't wait until, you know, uh, you think they're going to go on sale or something. Because they won't. They'll just go up in price most likely. Uh, but I did notice that uh, when we did get them in... This one did not have that problem, but some of them uh, had, were folded together and pressed. Whatever they used to adhere this uh, like mold type of substance to the mask was making the mask stick together. Now, they did come apart very easy. It was like a pop. They came apart without tearing any of the, uh, the fluff or anything like that, but they were stuck together, so they had like a, uh, a little bit of a bend to them. But as you can see here, we got the melted knitting needle hole and uh, you know we have where he got cut and the split in the mask it is now covered up with uh, some fluff and mold got some in the ear uh, some on the side of the hair we got the hair nice and firm and matted down but yeah and we got uh right there trick or treat studios right here on the inside of the mask but to me i think that it looks it looks really good i kind of like it better than i like the uh, halloween kills mask uh, i still need to get one of those uh, we have not got one in store yet. I don't know if we will get them. We did get a 2018. I do need to get a 2018. Uh, I just missed that whole, you know, run. But that is the closer look at it. It is very awesome. Like I said, it just has a really cool look. Uh, and the pictures don't do it justice. It makes it look like there's snow on it or uh, something like that. Uh, but when you actually get it in your hands and have a good look at it, um, you can really tell, you know, the... You can tell that the, the ash and stuff has been brushed away, cleaned up it looks like, and then, like I said, the mold it looks like it sets in. That's what I think it is. It could be snow. It could be crazy. But to me, that is mold. It's just how, how it looks. But that's it. If you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I really hope to see you guys next time.